Hey guys, what's going on? Sherman here. I finally have another knife review. <laughs> I'm sure a lot of you guys have been waiting for this. For me to do another knife review. Um, this one is on a really, really cool, very interesting piece and kind of a sleeper. Uh, this one comes from the gear company Bastion. A lot of you, Bastion's going to ring a bell. Some people are, you know, may not be that familiar with them. Bastion is a really cool EDC company. They specialize in a lot of different EDC gear. Uh, definitely, you know, check them out. Link in the description. They make all kinds of stuff. They make uh, gun accessories. They make, uh, you know, tons of patches, uh, knives, other EDC tools, uh, spinners. I have some Bastion spinner reviews here on my channel. Um, just really all around great company for EDC gear and really great people to work with. So they supplied me with this to do this review along with a couple of other products that you'll see reviews of here in the very near future. Like I said, just great, great people. Super nice. I like to hit their booth up uh, pretty much first at Blade Show. Uh, they have a great booth, like I said, nice people. But anyway, this is their Braza, Braza? Hope I'm not butchering that, <laughs> that, that name, but the Braza EDC knife. Now like I said, this is kind of a sleeper knife in that nobody's expecting a, a really, really good knife to come from a company like Bastion that is not a knife company. So, now Bastion, of course, you know, they didn't machine and, and manufacture this knife themselves. I'm not sure who makes this knife, but it was designed by Bastion, and it meets all their specs. Very, very cool knife. Like I said, definitely a sleeper knife. So, sit back and just watch me gush over this knife. Technical specs out of the way. We got, how long is this blade? Right out of the gate, guys. Good old trusty ruler. Okay. <clears throat> anyway, sorry about that. We got a three and three quarter inch blade, eight point two five inches overall, so just a little over eight inches overall length, and it is a it is a pretty large knife. Um, to me, this is average EDC size. <laughs> you know, T and Peers heads are exploding as we speak, but I'm not afraid of big knives. I'm not afraid of heavy knives. And you have to have that same mentality to carry this knife. It is big. It is heavy. Uh, the weight of this knife, 7.7 .7 ounces. So almost half a pound. <laughs> but that is because of the massive, non-skeletonized stainless steel uh, uh, frame and backspacer. So it would have been cool to be made out of titanium, even aluminum, really. But that would increase the price point. And I think for what they have in this knife is a very reasonable price point. I'll get to that later. Because, uh, you know, some people hear the price and immediately they're just like, ah, I'm not interested. So. <laughs> but anyway, so like I said, pretty decent sized knife. I don't have huge hands, but I don't have small hands. I think it's just a really good size. Got some tape residue on that blade. I have been using this a lot. <laughs> Carried this to work and used it, um, like I said, a lot, cutting a lot of different things, carried it out doing yard work. Uh, I've put this knife through its paces. Um, the steel on this, this blade is D2 steel. You can probably tell by the little rust marks right there. <laughs> Need to oil it up. But you see Bastion laser engraved there. This thing is a fingerprint magnet. D2 there beautiful two-tone blade. I didn't notice it in pictures at first, uh, but it's a beautiful two-tone blade. Up here, the flats are a stonewashed finish, and then this this full flat grind, or almost full flat, the mostly, you know, three-quarter flat grind <laughs> is very, very high uh, satin, uh, satin finish. So it's really beautiful. I really, really like the finish on this blade. Which really makes me sad to see the little bit of rust spotting. But it is D2. And it is summer in Georgia. So it's humid and I carry this often. But beautiful blade. Really like the shape. Really, really like that sh the shape of that blade. You have just enough belly uh, to get a lot of tasks done. Not too much. Not too little. You have this kind of little hump right here. Which just looks really neat. So I guess you'd call that a drop point. I really like it. Very, very thin too. And it came razor sharp. I'm going to try to use this post it note just to kind of show you guys. Now, I have been cutting a lot, so this may not be that accurate of a demonstration. And it is not. But 
it came very sharp. <laughs> just needs a little touching up. I don't even know why I did that. But anyway, you can just take my word for it. It came sharp. Now that's, you know, everybody's model is going to be a little bit different. Not everybody's going to be ground the same way because, you know, these knives are all hand sharpened, uh, as are most knives. But very nice edge on it. Very even as well, which is what you want to look for. Because if it's even from the factory, it's going to be very easy to touch up or redo yourself. Um, the finish on this is to give the appearance of titanium. Uh, this is just a titanium, uh, what they call titanium nitride coating. Uh, and it's starting to rub off. Where did I? Where are the rub marks? Yeah, right around here. You can see it rubbing, uh, exposing that st standard stainless steel finish. Some wear right there. Um, I'm actually going to sand all of that off. There's some wear right there. Uh, just because it looks kind of junky after a while. I wish they would have just... If if they're going to go with the stainless steel, I kind of wish they had just left it a satin finish. Just a plain stainless steel. But they went with the nitride finish, I guess, to give a contrast. Um, nice pocket clip. It's not ambidextrous. It is set up for right-hand tip-up only. I'm fine with tip-up. Uh, as you can see, it is a frame lock. Centering, by the way, is perfect, and I did not touch it that way from factory. Neat hardware on this. Got a big pivot pin. I see so you got the two screws holding it together. Going into the big stainless steel backspacer with a lanyard loop. The pocket clip is pretty nice. Standard pocket clip. Got one screw holding it together does not wobble side to side, so it's in there very well. It's not super deep carry, but it's also not super high carry. Uh, it's pretty nice. I think it's a really good even, or, or uh, um, happy medium, if you will. Some people don't like deep carry. A lot of people don't like, you know, tons, a ton of their knife sticking out. So I think it's a good happy medium. But very good looking. Flipper, obviously. All their edges, by the way, are nicely chamfered and very smooth. I do like that. It makes this very comfortable to hold and to use. There's your flipper right here. Whoop. That was a failed deployment. Let me do that again. There we go. This rides on ball bearings. So, very nice, very smooth. I love bearings in my knives. Some people don't, but... It makes this an, ex an extremely smooth knife. By the way, it has very nice chamfering down here for your thumb to disengage that uh, stainless steel frame lock. The engagement is great. Lockup is completely rock solid. Uh, you cannot muscle any kind of play in this up, down, or side to side. You know, up and down is what you really worry about. Side to side, not so much, because you can always adjust that by tightening the pivot. Um, but there's absolutely none, and it's this smooth. <laughs> Detent is not too, too strong on this. Let's see if I can try to demonstrate that for you guys, but when you see the blade get sucked in. So, it's kind of hard to tell. It's a little mushy. It's not super, super strong. Um, not that big of a problem. The only time you really notice it is the knife will rebound sometimes, like, like that, when you go to close it. If you go to close it too hard, it'll actually yeah, pop back out a little bit. And you can't do a soft you know, uh, flip. I kind of did. Unless you're angling the knife down, then it doesn't matter. But just like sitting here behind the camera, eh, well, it's making a liar out of me now. I guess I'm just used to it. But anyway, you can uh, pull back on it. Um, you know, light switch flick. Whoop. Or push button. Any way you want to flip it, it's coming out because that's what ball bearings do. They make your knife super duper smooth and very strong. So that's really cool. I have not adjusted the pivot at all. This is straight from the factory. I have not oiled it at all. It came thoroughly oiled from the factory uh, to keep that blade from rusting in transit to your location. Super cool looking knife. Oh, by the way, the jimping is um, just decorative. <laughs> it doesn't do much. It's just there. There's only like two jumps anyway. So it's pretty decorative. Sure does look good though, doesn't it? As I said, everything's nice and chamfered and smooth. 
Super ergonomic and comfortable. I love how this knife feels in hand. Put your thumb on the spine, right there, the blade, and just go to town. Great at slicing. The edges right here, the edges on this part of the blade, you can see are, you know, beveled and everything. But the edges here, however, are very sharp. You could strike a fire steel off of that. So, um, not that big a deal. But it's just when I'm carrying it sometimes and I, uh, I can feel that scraping me if I go to reach in. This isn't pushed all the way up against my pocket. I'm, eh. So, just something worth mentioning. But really good looking knife. And nice presentation too. Comes in this nice magnetically closed box like bokers do. I always like a good presentation. It just means they're proud of their stuff. But, like I said, very hefty knife. But I don't care because this thing's a beast. It deploys super smooth. Um, it's rock, rock solid. This is a real workhorse of a knife. So I think Bastion did a great job uh, combining form and function and uh, creating this knife. Price point on this, I said I'd mention it later on. These on their website right now, as of, the, as of the uploading of this video, are going for about $129. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this review. Uh, you know, Links in the description to where you can pick this knife up at. Big thank you to Bastion for sending this to review for you guys. Um, it's been a pleasure to carry this and to use it. Really sweet knife. Like I said, I recommend it. You know, like I said, if the price point was you know, $100, I could recommend it a lot more. You know, if it was $80, absolutely. This would, you know, be a killer knife for 80 bucks. 120, uh, 130, a little bit harder to justify. So that's really up to you guys. But I can recommend it in terms of this is a really sweet knife, really fun to play with, a lot of great features. So anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this review. Hope everybody has a great rest of their night. Stay safe, stay sharp, and God bless. Sherman 614. Peace.